Karibu jina langu ni pande 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 la raia mkala wa Mwambote. Itimi hapo saa 4 kamili usiku wa leo. Nusu fainali ya kwanza makala 22 ya kombe la dunia itangwa nanga nchini Qatar. Argentina ikiongozwa na Lionel Messi itachuana na Croatia inaongozwa na Luka Modric. Mwanahabari wetu Isaac Swila anakamilisha taarifa hii. Timeso no puedo parar. Ole 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 ola. Naam studioni studioni kama unanipata uh, tayari nikwishafika uwanja wa Lusail na vile umesikia hali ya shangwe hali ya vifijo uh, baadhi tu ya mashabiki haswa kutoka Argentina tayari wamefika hapa unasikia vile wameimba wanaimba na uh, wanatuma tumaini kwamba huenda wakashinda uh, mechi hii ya leo kumbuka mshindi hatakuwa na fululiza hadi kwenye finali na wacha nijaribu uh, kupata maoni uh, ya baadhi yao excuse me sir you speak english a little bit. Yes, Argentina or Croatia? No, Argentina, Argentina. Argentina. We are Argentina. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Could I hear your thoughts on tonight's game between Argentina and Croatia? Yeah, yeah I think so. You know, because uh, Croatia they have a good team and Argentina also they have they have of course they have Messi, you know. I don't think we can see more goals in this match here because you know, I think both team they will follow defense tactics and it will be like You know, amazing game, I think. Who do you think gonna win? I think uh, Argentina. Why? Because of Messi, that's it. He's the key player. Are you supporting Argentina or Croatia? Uh, Argentina. Argentina. <laughs> yeah. Whom do you support for tonight's game? Uh, Argentina. Why Argentina? Argentina, Messi. Messi. You come yes. from which country? Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Yes. Okay, thank you. Do you speak English? Sure. Yeah, I need to hear your thoughts on uh, tonight's game, Argentina versus uh, Croatia. I support Croatia. 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 We are come from, India. Come from India. Okay. You, you, where do you come from? I come from Kenya. Kenya. Ah, okay. so nice to meet you with you. You See too. You too. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> vile mesikia au ni ibadi tu ya mashabiki tayari wakishajaja hapa. Ah, angalau leo nimepata wale ambao wanaunga mkono ama wanashabikia Croatia. Kumbuka mechi hii itaanza hapa ugani Lusail ambapo nimepiga ambitari naanza sana usiku hapo kesho nitaweza kukujuza zaidi mimi ni Isaac Swila moja kwa moja kutoka uwanja wa Lusail jijini Doha nchini Qatar na kufuatia tangazo la Rais William Ruto hapo jana wakati wa maadhimisho ya tisa ya siku kuu ya Jamhuri Ugani Nyayo hapa Nairobi kuwa Kenya inalenga kuandaa kiputo cha kombe la bara Afrika mwaka 2027 kwa ushirikiano na mataifa Afrika Mashariki wadau wa mchezo huo kwenye ukanda huu wameunga mkono ruaza hiyo na kusema itachangia pakubwa katika kukuza uchumi Mwanaspoti wetu Geoffrey Mwamburi amezungumza na baadhi wa dau hao na nampisha sasa na ripoti kamili Kenya to host the 2027 Africa Cup of Nations. Ni matamshi ya Rais William Ruto kuhusiana na uandanzo wa kipoto hicho mwaka 2027 pamoja na kuanzisha ligi ya chipukizi kwenye chini ya miaka 19 kote nchini kama sehemu ya kuafiki ajenda mwaka 2030 ya harambe sazo kufuzu kwenye kipote cha kombe la dunia. Katibu mkuu wa Sekafa au Kagasheo amechangamkia wazo hilo akisema kuna kizuizi chochote cha Afrika Mashariki kuliafiki endapo fursa hiyo itajitokeza. Kuhost michezo ya Afcon mwaka 2020 na saba ni idea ambayo marais wa mpira ya Sekafa walikuwa wamekaa chini na wakasema wangependa kuona michezo hiyo ikija hapa na ikiwa hosted by several of the countries za eneo hili itatuwezesha to compete katika FIFA level na kuona kama tunaweza fika katika mashindano ya kombe la dunia Selimani Makanya ni meneja wa miamba wa soka la kike nchini Tanzania Simba Queens na yesema wazo hilo ni nzuri ila litahitaji uboreshi wa viwanja kuna mashindano hayo ni ya haiba kubwa Nadhani kwanza ukichukulia hivi hayo mashindano ni ilivyo kubwa kwa hiyo kama ni ilivyo kubwa hata na viwanja lazima viwe na standard ambayo inalala na hivyo ya mashindano kwa hiyo siwezi kusema moja kwa moja kwamba viwanja vitakuwa vinakizi lazima kuna marekebisho ambayo viwanja vitakuwa vifanywa na marekebisho kwa sababu mashindano kama yale yanapofanyika pale inawezekana hata timu nyingine inaweza kamweka kambi labda Tanzania kuna timu ikaweka kambi labda tuseme nchi jirani Uganda ambapo labda inaweza kama labda siku ya mechi wanasafiri wana, wana changamoto ya usafiri pia imewekewa uzito katika kufanikisha uandazi huo ikitiliwa manani umbali wa kijiji 
kijiografia wa mataifa ya Afrika Mashariki anavoeleza Putin Pelo afisa mkuu wa Tigers Sports Academy yenye makao yake Arusha Tanzania Swala ambalo naliona linaweza likawa changamoto ni logistics means of transportation kwa geografia ya hizi nchi tatu hii ni means gani ambayo ni sahihi zaidi labda ingekuwa SGR ya connect hizo nchi zote iko sawa iko timamu ama si basi watazungumzia kuhusu usafiri wa hanga Bagala pesa Diana ni mwanahabari nchini Uganda aliyetoa mfano wa taifa lake na kusema hali ya viwanja iko duni mno na hadhani endapo linaweza kuandaa finali hizo Uganda I don't think we up there because um, Nambole is under renovation right now and then the other uh, stadium which comes close to FIFA standards is St Mary's Chitende and then Nachivubo I don't know if Nachivubo will be passed by FIFA because of the environment around it uh, yet to know about that but Uganda with with due honesty I don't think we are ready to host the Afcon Jofre Mamburi Nairobi Na kocha mkuu wa bandari FC Anthony Kimani anataka washambuliaji wake wawe na uchu zaidi mbele ya lango la upinzani katika msimu unaoendelea wa ligi kuu ya soka nchini Kimani amekiri timu hiyo inatatizika kumalizia nafasi nyingi wanazotengeneza jambo ambalo anataka lishughulikiwe kuanzia mechi inayofuata Ni department tuna need kuwakia mo atuko worried sana kwa sababu tuna create chances and that's the most difficult thing to create chance chances go scoring chances for football so I think ile part imebaki tu ni kwa kuinsist on composure kwa forwards wetu ama players ambao wanakipata kwa hizo goal scoring opportunities tukikuwa calm in front of goal and that's the tip za ku dispatch hizo opportunities bandari ilitoka sare ya bao moja na polisi fc hapo jana baada ya kupoteza nyumbani dhidi ya kcb na kulingana na kimani ni ishara ya kuimarika when first na mentality ya ya wachezaji Uh, wetu uh, wanaonesha very very strong mentality walikuwa very resilient against uh, a very tough opponent and all stick kwa game plan yetu mpaka the very last minute uh, na pia defensively tukakuwa very very organized uh, tukawa na uh, many goals scoring opportunities as soon as much as to let drop two points away uh, i think there were there were lots of positives uh, ambazo tuliweza kuona kwa timu yetu compared to to our previous match against KCB kocha huyo wa zamani FC Leopards pia amewataka mashabiki wa Yona Subra licha ya mwanzo wao usioridhisha tumetrop very very many points this early in the season na so tuna tuko determined kwa determined kurudisha uh, vitu back on track na ku fight as hard as we possibly can uh, to make sure that this season still na remain kukua the special season that we we all ought to have based on the investments we have for team and, and the quality that we have in kwa sasa bandari wako nafasi ya sita wakiwa na pointi tano baada ya michezo mine waliocheza hayo kando kocha msaidizi wa KCB Godfrey Odwar ni mtulivu Licha ya ubutu ambao umeonyeshwa na washambuliaji wake kwenye mechi za ligi kuu ya soka nchini tangu kuanza kwa msimu mpya. Akizungumza baada ya wanabenki kushindwa mabao mawili kwa moja na nzoi ya shuga Jumapili, Odwar alitetea wachezaji wake akisema ilikuwa ni swala la muda tu kabla ya kuanza kufunga mabao kwa raha zao. Uh, it's not worrying enough because now we are, we are very early into the league but uh, we will keep on working with our with our attacking players to see how best we can score each and every time when we create the chances. Dora alibainisha kuwa timu yake inahitaji kujiamini ili kuondokana na tatizo hilo mbele ya lango la wapinzani. Yeah losing a match definitely we has something in, with confidence eh? so we'll try to work uh, on our confidence again uh, to see how best we can uh, encourage the boys to to win the next match so we'll work hard on the, on the confidence of the players KCB itapata fursa ya kufanya marekebisho kwa kupoteza dhidi ya Nzoia watakapomenyana na Big United Jumamosi hii na tukibadilisha uzi ni kwamba timu ya mchezo wa mpira wa kikapu ya mamlaka usimamizi wa bandari ya Kenya KPA imeishinda CNSS ya DR Congo 69 kwa 59 na, na kuandikisha ushindi wao wa pili wa michuano ya klabu bingwa Afrika FIBA mwaka huu upande wa wanawake. KPA sasa imemaliza mechi zao za kundi A katika uwanja wa Pavilio da Universidad de Eduardo Modlane Arena mjini Maputo nchini Msumbiji. CNSS ilishinda robo ya kwanza pekee 17 kwa 8 kabla ya kulala 19 kwa 17, 16 kwa 24 na 9 kwa 18. Kesho ni siku ya mapumziko kabla ya kurejea Alhamisi huku KPA ambao wamemaliza katika nafasi ya tatu katika kundi A wakimenyana na mabingwa tetezi Ferroviaro de Maputo ya Msumbiji au Alexandria Sporting Club ya Misri kutoka kundi B. Hapo na tia komeo. Nakushukuru sana kwa kusikiliza. Jina langu ni pande pande. Pande la Rayam Kala wa Mwamboze.